Hey you guys, per usual, please excuse the noise from the dishwasher in the background. I just wanted to show you guys that I recently bought some Irish sea moss. I got this on Amazon. I got two packages of this for only like 11.50. It was a really good deal. And last night, you're supposed to soak it for 24 hours. Uh, and so, looks kind of crazy, right? <laughs> That little package of sea moss made this much sea moss. It's a lot. So I'm gonna rinse this. It's been soaking for 24 hours. I cleaned it. I rinsed it a bunch of times. Like, you know, basically like agitated it in the water, cleaned it a little bit, tried to get all the salt particles off. You can see like there's a bunch of, if you look closely, you can see there it's covered in salt. So you basically have to clean off all that salt and like rinse it really good and then let it soak. And then you're also supposed to wash it with lime juice. And I already let it soak yesterday with lime juice and water for like an hour or two. I don't remember exactly how long, but it was a while. And then I rinsed that off and then I let it soak overnight in the fridge for 24 hours with just fresh um, my filtered water. And now I'm gonna rinse it one more time. We're gonna blend it up in the blender and make a gel. And um, supposedly it's really good for, it's a really good vegan collagen, like really good for your skin. And um, has 92, I guess, of the 102 minerals that our bodies need. Plus it's full of um, iron. I'm usually like anemic or borderline, just barely not anemic. And it's really high in iron. And so let's see, what else does it have? I don't know, it has like a whole bunch of stuff. Vitamin A, vitamin C, calcium, iron, and then the 92 minerals. Plus it's a source of collagen, which is really good, like I said, for your skin. Love that, can't wait to try it. I'm gonna be making a gel out of it and then I'm just gonna be keeping it in the fridge and putting scoops of it into my smoothies when I make smoothies in the morning. So yeah, just for a neutral. Oh, and my friend told me that it's really good for energy. So obviously, obviously, probably because it's high in iron and vitamin C, which helps you absorb iron. And so that's probably what helps you with boosting your energy, but could be other reasons too. It could be the minerals and whatever else is giving people energy from eating it. That's what I've heard that it gives people a lot of energy and Lord knows I could use some more energy in my life. So we're definitely gonna give it a try. Oh, it's supposed to be good for your hair and your nails and everything too, so. Anyway, let's make some sea moss gel. Oh, and I did some research and my sea moss came with some dark spots. Like, I don't know, I, hopefully you can see it. It came with all these little dark spots. It looked a lot worse when, the, when it was not hydrated all the way yet, but um, I did research. I thought that maybe it was mold or like dried mold that they didn't store it properly or whatever, but um, it turns out that that's just means that it was dried in, in the sun like it's supposed to be and it's there's all kinds of different varieties of sea moss and that this actually means that it's a healthy sea moss and it's not made in a um, it's not made in like artificial plant like like I don't know what they're called like artificial it's not, it's not made in an artificial growing it's made out in the ocean and it's, you know what I mean it's farmed from the ocean instead of like man-made basically so it's not like fake it's real sea moss <laughs> so anyway basically i just wanted to say that the black spots are not mold they're not bad it's fine to eat them so yeah oh anyway. one more thing the soaking water the water that i soaked it in <laughs> i'm saving this for to use as a hair rinse because this is also supposed to be really good for your hair to make it shiny and strong and uh, help it grow faster and so you just wash uh, condition your or like wash your hair and you can run this through your hair after I'm not sure actually if it's before you condition or after. I can't remember what she told me, but you guys can Google it. So yeah, I'll have to look it up again, but you can use this as a hair rinse to make your hair stronger. All right, so we're just adding some water. I'm gonna add a little bit at a time, like right now, I think that's good, but if not, I'll add a little bit at a time until it's not too thick. Like I want it to be thick, but I wanna make sure it blends as well. All right, so here's our gel. I'm gonna store it in a mason jar. It's gonna go in my fridge, and then I'll show you tomorrow, because it should thicken up overnight. And then I should be able to just scoop it out, you know? A little bit at a time. It's pretty thick. Oops. Sorry about that, my camera ran out of space and I it cut off. Anyway, here it is. I wanted to, in case you didn't see, this was 85 grams. I don't know how much that is in ounces. <laughs> it's a pretty, seems like a pretty small amount, but I'm pretty sure this will last me 
at least the two weeks that it said it's good for. So yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on if it gives me energy or makes me feel any different. And it does smell like algae. It smells it does smell a little bit like seaweed, but I guess the longer you soak it in lime juice, uh, it's supposed to take away more of that algae smell. It doesn't really bother me. I'm pretty sure when I put it in my smoothie, I won't be able to taste it anyway, so I'm not really worried about it. But anyway, there it is. Irish Moss Vegan Collagen.